Unless they tell you, you'll never know until you find out for yourself. That's why they tell you God lives up in the sky. Heaven is above, high above, you know, always a sense of disconnection that you are disconnected from source, not realizing that you are source. That's why you search in vain your entire life to fill your life with things that you think that are missing, but they're not. That's why you think better days are coming, good times are ahead. It's always everything inferring anything but the here and the now. So you got to get in conscious contact with that, what they're doing to you. Just keep reminding yourself that I have everything. I already am what I know that I am. That's it. And forget about what this illusion is showing you or what it's not showing you. And what people are saying and what you're reading and what kind of content you're consuming online, it's all going to run contrary to what it is you're looking to accomplish in your life. And if you keep inducing that into your sacred space, that's exactly what you will project and precisely the reality you will receive in the form of these consecutive experiences that are multifaceted surfaces that build up to the kaleidoscopic reality that becomes your concurrent situation. Because first they start off with consecutive energies, like a stream, you know, like a melody, one note after the other. And then they build to a culmination of a concurrent reality, meaning that it's like a chord, like the harmony being played all at once. And that becomes your kaleidoscopic reality. So your life is comprised of all of these multifaceted surfaces called experiences that you use to build the kaleidoscope of your life, which is the concurrent reality that you are now living in, desirable or undesirable. But you have to understand something. All of the narratives that they have been giving you is what you operate off of. So they give you erroneous information and, and misinformation and the wrong instructions. These are useless tools that go about energizing useless information. And then what do you think your life is going to be made of? That's why you have a series of quantitative experiences with no qualitative value, meaning you have the same experiences, parties, bars, clubs, one night stands, hookups, you know, disposable society, all of that stuff, hookup culture. This is all garbage. It's just a, a pile of garbage. And then the conversations are all media based. All you're talking about is what's going on in Hollywood or who, who, whomever sleeping with whomever. And it, that's, that's it. That is the content and the quality of everything that you're doing. So that is what you are comprised of because what you're, what you're viewing is an end result, a byproduct of what you've already put in. So however you are perceiving these things unconsciously, you have already painted that environment with your energy. So your perceptive lens can read it. That's exactly what's going on. So if they implant this narrative that tells you everything you see is reality and then you give energy to it, that's what it becomes. But it's not a reality. It's an illusion. And this is all a game. So you got to get yourself out of that. You have to decontaminate and detoxify. You know, you got to get off the drugs of negativity and the narrative of propaganda. That's exactly what you have to find yourself doing because you're going to just be repeating more of the same stuff. This is the reason why I do so many videos on the same topic, because my hope is that I can somehow reach somebody to get them to help themselves and realize what's actually going on. These things are done for a reason. They tell you what they want you to know, and they conveniently leave out what they don't want you to know, which is the truth, the cosmic truth. So they put a narrative in your subconscious brain, and that is your operating system. That's a software that is written that the computer will run off of, your programming. So then when you see this and see this, it just validates what they have already told you is the truth. So like, okay, and then you confirm it with your feelings and emotions, and you empower it with your belief systems. So it's a done deal. You have it locked down. And there's no other way that this can't be exactly what they told me what it is, because I'm looking at it right here, because seeing is believing, you know? You've been brainwashed and duped from beginning to end, man. You don't even know what's going on. They don't tell you because they don't want you to know. So if you don't know, then you don't know what you're capable of until you find out for yourself. And that's what the whole, uh, the whole premise of these videos is for, to get you to realize that you are something other than what they told you from day one, and then do something about it. Instead of being just an ordinary, average, everyday, normal person, you know, pedestrian, like they refer to you, you're not normal. You are not normal. You're extraordinary. You are remarkable. You are incredible. You are amazing. You are awesome. They will tell you that. They never will. They never will. They don't want you to know. You're just operating off of an, a, a, a software program, man, an operating system that was written by software engineers, the cult. And they know full well how the human mind operates because they're very good at it. They have, they're the ones that created psychiatry and psychology in the 1800s. Don't forget that. They've been here for thousands of years. They were here longer than human beings, the reptilians. So they know full well how to manipulate the human mind 
it's very easy because human beings don't change. They're predictable. So if something is predictable, then you can control it because you know the pattern that it's going to follow. It doesn't ever deviate from that course. It's always the same patterns. So that's how they control you until you decide to say, I'm out of this cyclical looping negative insanity, and I'm going to start creating my own brand new designs of me being an individual. That's when the whole thing changes. Until that time, things will stay the same.